Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series with Wolverhampton Wanderers. You join us here at the beginning of December. We're on the edge of the playoffs. Uh, we've slipped a little bit in the last couple of games and it's been a very mixed bag of form since the last game that was on the series here against Aston Villa we won 4 now We beat Brighton with Ivan Cavalero scoring. Uh, he hasn't scored many, I think that was only his second goal. But a really good performance from him to get that as well. A really tight game. Leeds as well, good win there. Two early goals. Then Kemal Roof scored shortly after we made it 2-0. Uh, but we managed to hold them at bay for the rest of that game. A really disappointing defeat against Blackburn. A late goal. They were bottom of the table. Going into this game, uh, the win lifted them slightly. Uh, a disappointing draw again. So lots of disappointing results Preston, we played a really attacking formation and style because they were playing four defensive midfielders. They were really difficult to break down, but held the cost as two goals. Were quite good, and I'll show you the second goal now because it was a really well worked goal, and you get a taste of the sort of football that I want them to be playing through this little moment. So you can see they were edge of the box, Max Powell, Wolf Ikram, held a cost of playing the ball really well together Costa there with an easy finish because of that great movement you can see the number of play players that Preston had back as well but we managed to break them down then an another disappointing defeat but against High Flying Sheffield Wednesday uh, sending off for Christian Batoccio as well so he's missing for the next three games QPR, Fulham and Cardiff hopefully we won't miss him too much but what I am going to do today because we got caught out I was a little bit naive perhaps against uh, Sheffield Wednesday I played a really attacking formation and it didn't work because I don't think our defenders are good enough to be able to put up with um, being caught on the break they're not fast enough the wide players as well I think are getting exploited a little bit the full backs so I'm going to set them to defend and we're going to rely on our wingers Cavaliero and Costa to make things happen down the sides rather than these players here in Borthwick Jackson and Silvio who've played almost every game so perhaps they're a little bit tired as well a few players are a bit, little bit upset that they're not playing too often Connor Cody, Ben Marshall and David Edwards have complained we're missing Danny Bart and Christian Batoccio through suspension you can see Batoccio has chipped in with four goals over the last few games um, I don't know whether to play Sice or Daniel Johnson. Two deep line playmakers I think might work well with our weaknesses in the back. I'm going to change this from attacking to counter as well. I know we're playing away from home against some a team who are mid-table, low in the table. Okay, so we could do with a win. We could really do with a win. Um, I'm not going to give them too much pressure. I'm not going to tell them that they have to win. But I know, deep down, we've got to win. Richard Stearman has come in for Danny Bart, but he's lacking a little bit of match sharpness. So perhaps Connor Cody could come in at centre-back, or Roman Sice or Juaz. But again, they are not really fully fit either. So we're playing a counter-attacking formation, counter-attacking style. Let's hope that we can soak up some of this pressure that we're going to have from QPR and catch them out on the break. I'm not worried about possession or anything like that today. If we can just keep them at arm's length and try and catch them on the break. Here you go. Borthwick Jackson on the left hand side. It's the ball into the box, but Smithies deals with it rather well. He plays it long. Hawes wins the header. And Nua bringing it sideways and backwards. Kulka. So some good defensive plays there for, for QPR. Power gets the ball down and Eichren plays a good ball forward for Bod Varsen who's through on goal and finishes lovely goal and celebrates by doing the sprinkler made famous by the England cricket team in 2010. A good ball there, Bod Varsen held his run, was through on goal and from the edge of the box slotted it home. 1-0, good. A good start to a game. Just going to keep playing this counter-attacking style making sure that we are not exposed at the back. Here's Luar Luar, bringing it forward now, cutting inside. Washington, but Icrum is there, and Costa loses it. 
Washington again for the edge of the iron. Oh, a good goal. Good goal, 25 yards out. Costa giving away the ball cheaply, and then the whole defence sort of shifting out to the right hand side of the pitch. And the keeper again, not in the top of the net. So disappointing. But we've, we've invited the pressure on now. They've had 10 or 13 shots now in the first 25 minutes. So you can, if you've got to expect things like that, might happen. Here's Washington again. Luongo. Oh, oh for God's sake! Two goals from distance. And having started quite well, getting a goal, that's poor. Corny Hawes taking ages to get across, and then it, another good finish, but oh, we've been very disappointed. And they've got a chance to make it 3 1 before half time. Kimi tips it over the bar. We have been absolutely mauled here. I think we're going to have to. We're going to go to standard. They've had 23 shots in the first half. What has gone on here? Right. How can we change this now for the better? Right. What I'm going to do is. Helder Costa is going to come off. We're going to go all wonky. And Cavalier. Probably lots of people screaming at the screens saying, What are you doing, you idiot? But we're going to try. We are just going to lump it forward. And I think we are going to go attacking. We may as well. May as well. It's been a very disappointing half. Two long range efforts. Oh, that's corner now. Akimi with a the save there. How have they managed to have 26 shots? They've had 11 on target. Hooper, Johnson, Ikrem, Bodvarsson loses it. Sylvia picks it up. Can we get an equaliser? Johnson, Ikrem, Sice. Chipped in towards the box and Bob Varson equalises. Seemed a little bit out of nowhere there. Sice with a chip into the box. Anua with the poor header. Then Johnson's little pass there. Deflection off the centre back. Past the goalkeeper. 2 2. Samuel Johnson there has just picked up a yellow card. We could do without having another suspension. Particularly in that midfield position. A little bit short as it is. 20 minutes to go, this wouldn't be a great result. Although, if you consider that the number of chances that they've had, 13 shots on target, we have slowed them down a lot in this second half by going attacking. Seven minutes left, can we change anything? I'll bring Ben Marshall on for Daniel Johnson. We're going to get them trying to use the wings. It's a very wonky formation now. Let's even push Silvio up so that the right hand side. He's going to be attacking on the left hand side. He's going to stay defensive. <laughs> it's got a very, very odd formation. I'm not sure who their left back is, but he's going to come under some bombardment now over the next five minutes. Nua, Hawes, both with Jackson, Ikram, Power. Let's get it out to that side. Silvio's there. Bodvarsson's there for a hat trick. He's got it. What a comeback. And Wolves. Fantastic from John Daddy Woodvarson. That formation <laughs> That formation is gonna win us trophies. Fantastic. We've used all three subs now and we've everybody's all over the place. I wonder what formation he's got it down as. Right, you're gonna go full back and you're gonna defend for the rest of the game. Sice Anchorman defend. Power can you play we can a little bit defensive mid. Born in midfielder to support. Icrum's going to come back there. Ben Marshall's going to do some running. Bod Varson's going to go out to the right. Hooper, you're going to stay there by yourself. Marshall, you can go on the left. Let's see. There we go. So, lots of our wins have been by the odd goal, which is why our goal difference is not very good. And this has happened quite a lot. We've taken the, you know, it's been give and take for a lot of the games. Bod Varsen there, through on goal, good first touch. Keeper would be disappointed. Didn't narrow the angle. 
and some nice David Brent esque moves. Very negative tactics from me, but they've worked. 3 2 win, came back from being 2 1 down at half time. A great comeback. And John Daddy Budvarsson with a hat trick. Unbelievable, considering he's only scored three goals in real life all season to score three goals. So to score three goals in one match, two in one half, I think is absolutely superb. The table looks a little bit better now as well. We're only three points off the top. You can see our goal difference is not as good as anybody else's in the top half of the table. Only Birmingham, whose goal difference is minus four. Who, but they had a really, really poor start to the season. Uh, so, yeah, the table's looking a lot better now. Coming up to halfway in the season as well, we've played 19, won 11 games, 36 points, 3 points off top. Um, hopefully we can keep on picking up the odd wins. That was a win against the runner play. Look at that, 32 shots from QPR, 15 on target. We managed to get 7 on target. We gave away lots and lots of fouls again. Possession as well, we didn't have as much. So it was a little bit of daylight robbery, but... You need that bit, little bit of luck occasionally in a long season and hopefully that'll be a little kick start now. So that's two wins out of three. If we can get a result now against Fulham who are around us in the table. We've really struggled against teams who've been alongside us in the league. Don't know whether we've even beaten anybody who are around us yet. I think we drew to Reading, lost to Sheffield Wednesday in Newcastle, lost to Norwich. So we've lost to all the other teams except for Reading in the top six. So Fulham will be a good test for us. And we'll see if we can get anything from that game. Uh, I'll come back then, maybe after Christmas, after the busy period. We'll see who we get in the FA Cup. If it's a big team, then we'll come back for that. And maybe a double live com will come back for the Villa game as well. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.